Hello everyone and welcome back to our Artificial Intelligence Lecture Series. I am Nadia Patel. Let's get started with our next lecture. So we are in continuation to Unit 2 which is Introduction to Intelligence System and we have already seen what exactly intelligence is all about, what are different components of intelligence. Further, we have started our new point which is again very important and interesting which is agent and environment. So we have already seen a lecture before this lecture that what exactly agents are, what exactly environment is all about and how do both of them interact with each other. So we have taken a real life example of a small kid or a child actually experiencing garden and flowers for the first time. So we will be continuing the same point and the same example in our today's lecture. I am primarily focusing on the real life example so that it becomes easy for us to understand and figure out how exactly these terms should be applied in real life because the basic idea or the central objective of artificial intelligence was actually converting human intelligence, human ability into machine. So for that purpose, we should actually understand how we can apply these terms and terminologies to our real life so that we can design a model or a small bot or a robot or a software function to carry out certain tasks which are right now performed by humans. So in today's lecture, we will primarily focus and speak about intelligent agent. In the previous lecture, I gave you a brief about how environment actually works and how it helps agents. So for our syllabus, we are primarily focusing on agents. It's one of the type and how exactly agent should be desi designed. So primarily speaking about intelligent agent, we will cover today introduction, some rules of how agent should be, structure of intelligent agent. Under this point, we will see architecture, agent function, and finally agent program. So let us not waste our time and let's head towards and start our lecture. So let's speak about intelligent agents. So we have already seen that what agents are, what is the definition of agent, something which is good at perceiving, something which is good at understanding new things and should also be able to store them and recall when required. So this is exactly how even we make use of our intelligence and mind and memory. So we keep on learning new things, but with this, we do not forget things which we have learned previously. So it is somewhere stored in our memory and we just keep on learning new things and apply our past experiences and past memory or past data to the new experiences which we are learning. This is what is expected from an agent. But then what differs a normal agent from an intelligent agent? Let us see. So the definition itself tells us that an intelligent agent is an autonomous entity which acts upon an environment using sensors and actuators for achieving certain goals. So here when we speak about intelligent agent, these agents have to be autonomous. Now what does autonomous mean? They have to be working on their own. You don't have to have a human head or a human interface or somebody to come and push or press a button so that the machine actually works then somebody to manually just move its arms like we see the crane or there are some bulldozers or dozer which dig the land but there is a human sitting inside the cabin or the cabinet which actually moves the jack and then the arm of the dozer or the bulldozer moves. We don't want a human head or human supervisor now. Now these agents have to be fully autonomous. They should work for their own. They should have their own intelligence and make use of the sensors to apply it into the environment. 
they should be pre-fed with a database of environment like when it is planted in a factory or in a ground or in soil it should be aware of the environment previously or it should be in advance aware of the environment its sensors the sensory devices in humans we have our sensory organs in machines there are going to be sensory devices these devices are supposed to sense the environment perceive from the environment and actuators are supposed to carry out some functions or operations which should be commanded to effectors and effectors will help to achieve certain goals so this synchronization of sensors and actuators and effectors this perceiving from the environment should happen by the agent on its own there should not be any human supervisor present to tell or command him like we do for alexa or siri we actually command alexa and siri and then alexa or siri gets activated and perform a certain task but speaking about intelligent agent they should work on their own an intelligent agent may learn from the environment to achieve their goals as we have already discussed certain situations and scenarios like a factory robot is familiar of just shifting heavy load from section 1 to section 2 but all of a sudden there is a electricity failure or there is a, a emergency situation in the ground floor the robot should actually learn it should have its some of the data somewhere that if a situation happens where there is a fire where there is a alarm ringing on the robo is, is supposed to take a necessary action so it should keep on learning from the environment and this will only happen if you make use of certain learning algorithms from machine learning and deep learning further agent should have some level of autonomy which will help it to perform specific task and predictable repetitive task so it is supposed to perform task which should have some predictions like it should predict what should be done or what is supposed to be done and it it should also perform it with same diligence like it should perform it with the same quality and perform the repetitive task now one example could be a thermostat which is an intelligent agent now what are these thermostat if you ask me one good example could be our air condition where you just switch on your air condition and if it is a good and latest kind of a device and is an autonomous one it will actually sense the temperature outside and according to that give you a cool breeze of air from the air condition itself if the temperature is rising it is supposed to give you more cool experience or good amount of air which is compatible to the outs outside air so this is what thermostat is it is intelligent on its own it can sense the outer temperature through its sensors and accordingly process it and give you the amount of coolant you want an intelligent agent is an entity that makes a decision this is a very important point now it is supposed to decide on its own on the basis of its perception on the basis of the data which is given to it previously and on the basis of certain programs and procedures then it is supposed to perform a specific task or action depending on the decision the actions are going to change the two main functions of intelligent agent include perception and action so these are the two things which is expected from any agent but from intelligent agent it is expected that it is it should perceive the things correctly and should take a right amount of perfect decision which is going to actually affect the action so perception and action should have a synchronization and this is what is expected from some intelligent agents 
So further, perception is done through sensors while actions are initiated through actuators. So if you ask me at the end, effectors are going to perform a certain task, but actuators are going to help the effectors to perform a certain task. So basically, the two important devices we could say or components we can see which are going to play key role are the sensors and the actuators. And two important tasks or functions which we are going to perform are perception and action respectively. It can also be described as a software entity that conducts operations in the place of user or program after sensing the environment. So these intelligent agents can interact with other entities such as other agents as we have seen one example which one real life example which was a garden full of flowers. A small kid was the agent but need not that the environment which is the flowers and the agent can only be the case. There could be insects, there could be flies, there could be butterflies, there can be some small pet domestic animals wandering around. So an agent should be capable enough to interact with other entities as well. Say for example, a cat or a dog or a, a bird is actually wandering near the flowers which the agent is supposed to pluck or is supposed to water. So he is supposed to now take a decision of waiting, let the bird pass on and then perform its task because we don't want to harm other agents unnecessarily. So this is just an example. We have just taken one example. Uh, but speaking about intelligent agent, it is supposed to perform accordingly. New rules can be accommodated by intelligent agents incrementally. So it should be that capable that it should adapt to new things. Further, they exhibit goal-oriented habits. There should be a certain specific task or goal which it is supposed to perform. They are knowledge-based. They use knowledge regarding communication processes and entities. Now there are certain rules. These are the basic, you can say, characteristics or important factors which agents should possess. Further, we have certain rules which agents are supposed to follow. So the first rule says that an agent, an intelligent agent, must have the ability to perceive the environment. So perception is very important. Perceiving the right things in the right amount and in a correct manner and correct sequence is very important. Secondly, the observation must be used to make certain decision. So it is not supposed to just keep on learning and saving it to the database, but it is supposed to take a decision on the basis of what it is perceiving. Further, decision should result in an action. So on the basis of what you have perceived, and what your observation has came to and what you have decided you are supposed to take one proper appropriate action. The action taken by an agent must be a rational action. So this word is again important because in our coming lectures we are going to speak about rational agent. Today we are going to completely speak and focus on intelligent agents. But in coming lectures, we will see what rationality means and what rational agents are all about. So further, now let us discuss what is structure of artificial intelligence, intelligent agent and environment. We have already seen a diagram before in the previous lecture. So I have already explained you what this diagram is all about. Agent can be a part of environment. Agent is going to perceive the environment by making use of sensors. Agent is going to process and save the perception. 
on the basis of processing actuators are going to help effectors to take a specific action on the environment environment can have other agents as well our agent is supposed to communicate with the other agents as well so this was all about this diagram but many a times people actually get confused with the structure of agent and block diagram of agent i would prefer rather calling it the block diagram of agent and environment but when you ask me about the structure of ai agent it should specific specifically be about the technical terms so speaking in totality about how technically we can describe these things this is a diagram which is going to explain you the working of environment and agent so this is the block diagram and now let us see what is the structure of intelligent agent so this structure is going to have three main important components which form the complete structure of intelligent agent and actually learning these components separately correctly is very important unless and until you understand these components separately you will not be able to put it into a formula or into a algorithm or a theory so the first component is the architecture the second is agent function and the third and the final component is agent program the task of artificial intelligence intelligent agent is to design an agent an agent program which implements the agent function so we are going to design an agent program which should implement an agent function so let us first see what architecture is all about so architecture is the machinery that an agent executes on so it is actually the machines the devices which we are going to use that is the architecture so this refers to the machinery or devices that consist of actuators and sensors so whatever devices which you are going to use in building your agent is the architecture so here no software part is going to come everything which is in the form of a component or a device is going to fall under this architecture category so intelligent agent executes on this machinery like actuators and sensors sensors are going to help you to perceive actuators are going to help you to take one action its example can be a computer a personal computer can also be uh, a part of the architecture because it is a device a car or a camera sensory organs get converted into sensory devices like cameras speakers and microphones so these are the architectural things the second thing is agent function now that you have understood that what architectural components or devices you will require to build your agent now let us decide on what function it is supposed to carry out or what process or what procedure is expected from your agent so the agent's function is used to map a concept to an action so whatever you are learning whatever you are perceiving should be applied into an action or should be converted into an action the term is mapping so as we map the things or as we match certain things we are going to perceive some 10 things and for the 10 things we will process them and find one or two actions which are necessary actions are mapped from certain percept sequence now everything should happen in a sequence you cannot feed data in a miscellaneous form because that is not going to help your agent agent should be built on the basis of step by step sequences like for example let us take the same example we are uh, let us assume that we are building a small robot to pluck flowers from a flower garden but it is supposed to pluck 
only those flowers which are fully bloomed which have now getting the aroma like which, which are completely now bloomed flowers and they should have some pollen grains because we are designing this robot for a you can say maybe natural color factory like food colors artificial food colors is a different thing and natural food colors are prepared out of flowers and plants and natural things and they don't include synthetic things inside them so say for example there is a factory which prepares natural colors and prepares natural scent so for them you are designing a robot which is supposed to visit the field pluck flowers which are completely bloomed so this should happen in a sequence it should not just enter the field and just destroy everything around and disturb the other plants which are medicinal plants so it should have a sequence of entering maybe there should be a line of code for entering there should be a space it should not enter from anywhere so you are going to decide a sequence of actions and accordingly this will only happen if you have a sequence of perception so if you perceive in a certain manner in a certain sequence you can definitely map it into certain actions and certain sequences percept sequence refers to a history of what intelligent agent has perceived now sequence is what sequences are perception history i have already given you a brief about what perception history is in the previous lecture if you have not seen please kindly go through the previous lecture and refer it further finally we are going to create an agent program now so on the basis of whatever you have perceived and whatever you have designed you have created an agent function and now we are supposed to just implement it so we have understood the previous part which is the agent function now a function is ready now action is ready perception is ready for a certain perception certain action is supposed to be taken and implementing this function is what we call agent program so this physical implementation of the agent function is actually done in function f now we will speak about it so program is what we are going to implement the agent function now let us take the same example okay we are going to apply the same things and study the same example this is a real life example you can convert it like i have taken a small little cute little kid here you can replace it with a bot with a robot and perform the same thing so by taking a human as an agent environment is the garden with flowers agent is our cute little boy architecture now becomes the sensory organs like eyes ears nose touch and taste now what is the function as we have seen function is mapping perception into action so if they have given you a block of code if you see the flower is dark purple with large petals and pollen grains and it smells like lilies then pluck and collect them into wooden basket else keep them and water them so this is the function which you are going to perform now while performing a function we have converted perception into the action so what we are going to perceive first is check the flower is of dark purple color or not second perception it should have large petals third perception it should also have pollen grains perception number 4 it should smell like lilies you are going to pluck them that is you are going to just collect them into wooden basket if these perceptions fail if these perceptions don't work you are going to keep them as it is and keep on watering them that's it 
So here you have got some four to five perceptions and there is one action involved. The action number one is pluck the flowers and collect them into wooden basket and if any one of the keys doesn't satisfy you're going to perform the second action which is keep them as it is and water them. So this is how one example, one real life example gets converted into agent function. So now what is going to be finally the agent program? We are just going to implement it. Implementation of the function is agent program. Now let us check finally what is mathematical representation for the same. So agent is actually collection or combination of architecture plus agent program. So whatever you are going to decide over the components is the architecture. Agent program is implementation of agent function. So whatever functions you have decided in terms of perception and action will get converted into agent program further because you are just going to implement it and both the things together become the agent. The next is mapping or you can say how to mathematically form it. So here F is a simple agent program which is a mathematical function. P stands for the maps of every possible percept, whatever you have perceived, whatever you have understood in a sequence. Perceiving environment through the senses. With the help of sensors, whatever you have perceived should be stored into P and it should be converted into actions. So F is the function which we have decided, P is the perception which we are going to perceive and finally E is the appropriate action which we are going to take with the help of actuators. Now if you will ask me, effectors are the thing which will actually carry out some movements but actuators is the mechanism which is going to help the effectors. So we will primarily focus on the sensors and the actuators. So this is the mathematical representation of intelligent agent. That's it. So I hope it was easy for you to understand. The real life example was very very easy. So if you want to convert it into a mechanical one, you can replace the little boy with the robot and perform the same thing like I have done in this example. Yes, this is what I have done. You can replace this real example, real life example by a robot and carry out the same. So yes, thank you.